Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about getting an integrated development environment or an IDE for your Mac. And we're going to go with Xamarin Studio. And in order to get it, we need to go to monodevelop.com, click download under Mac OS X, click download Xamarin Studio. I'm going to cancel my download. I already downloaded it to my desktop. So I'm just going to double click this disk image file. And you can just drag the application to your applications folder. I already did that because I have a little bit of an older Mac and it's going to take some time. And after the copying is done, you can just go ahead and eject the disk image. And you can launch the application by going to the launch pad and clicking on Xamarin Studio. Or you can go into your Macintosh HD applications, scroll down to the bottom and double click it. If you have a problem launching it, like an error message, you can just go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, unlocking it, and whether it's Mac App Store and Identify Developers or anywhere, I would go with anywhere and click to allow uh, downloaded applications from anywhere. The first thing we need to do is click on Xamarin Studio go to preferences under the text editor code completion just check the automatically insert parentheses after completion click OK and in order to create a new solution and the solution is a collection of projects so basically the solution can have multiple projects under it so you can click new solution right here or click file new solution make sure that you select the dotnet click console project and make sure that you have it to have it set to be C sharp and click next. And then you can type in the project name. So I'm just going to call it hello world. And the location is under users directory under your directory and in projects. And here, if you are using a version control, you can just uh, click that and you can go ahead and cl click create. And right here, here's our solution, our project, and the references, packages if we're using any, and then the properties. And there is our core file. And there is our using directive, which is basically a shortcut. So instead of just taking it away and having to type system.console right line hello world which is basically going to print out a hello world into a terminal application um, you can just input right here using system and you can just get rid of that and in order to run your application you, you can just go ahead and click that play button right here and it's going to launch the terminal and here is our text, hello world, and press any key to continue. You can press any key, but unlike Windows, it's not going to close the screen. The screen is just going to stick around. So that's it for this video, and I'm going to see you in the next one. And until the next one, happy programming.